that that had to be um please i hope people will not be guessing my ages my age from this but that has to be 1986 the maradona world cup i was i was going to be 14 just after the world cup in august so that was actually the first time i fully fully understood the concept of the world cup and it was it was fantastic uh, the, the thing is apart from the fact Mar maradona was the big star that was the world cup of so many stars but maradona was so outstanding that he had shown all of them i remember enzo francescoli of uruguay france had an array of stars Platini, Tigana, Stopira, Fernandez, a lot of them. Brazil, of course. They had Zico, they had uh, Socrates, they had uh, all of the big names. Then Germany with Karl Heinz Rummenigge and all of them. But Maradona was heads and shoulders above everybody. He was a little magician. Of course, I remember England's Carolina Cato. Somebody I see follow on Twitter till today. He's a fantastic guy. So that was that was my first World Cup and it was a fantastic memory. I wanted Argentina to win and they went out to win. But I think the most painful match was when Germany defeated France. I like France because of Tigana. Because, because he was a black guy, he was playing for a, a European team and was was a very good player. So I I wanted him to win, but that was the match that actually had the most pain for me but I was very happy when Argentina went on to win afterwards in 19 when, when I said in I, I like 1992 because of Cameroon's and um, magic I said because of Roger Miller I'm not a very good dancer but that time I, I tried <laughs> I wanted to copy his dance he was he was an old man he was 38 he was old, but he was the player for me he was the player of the tournament I was old enough then, I was 18, so I was I was a mini pundit. So I knew who was a good player and who was not. I liked the England team too, but I didn't want to be big Cameroon. They beat Cameroon and when Germany beat them, I was I was not very happy. And I was I became a, I became a big fan of Maradona in, in 1986. So when when I think the, the match that stood out for me most was Argentina versus Brazil. In the, quarter final, in the second round of quarterfinals, I can't, I'm trying to remember now. Brazil, where they, they played Argentina out of the park. But Maradona, just one moment of magic, he released Canidia and the rest is history. Canidia too was another player that I liked, but because I, I, he, he would have, I thought he would have made a difference in the final against Germany. But he got a silly yellow card for a harmless handball and he didn't play. He was suspended for the final. And Germany won. I've never supported Germany in my life, so I did not want them to win that World Cup. Obviously, 1994. The thing about 1994 was the match we lost, the Italy match. I was just telling somebody about it not long ago. I was at last with them. I was, I was in, I think I was in 200 level or so, 100 level. I came back all the way from Ojo. I mean, anybody who knows the girl, you know, from Ojo to Ipidemeta to watch the match with my friends at home. After that match, I did not feel like going back to school. And for like a week after, and I'm I'm playing it for like a week after, I kept having dreams that that match, I kept playing that match in my head, in my dream. I could still not believe that we lost that match. And then there was this rumor swirling around then that people had cancelled the match, that there was a drug test and something. But I've always I, I knew that that was a it was not it was not true. But I wanted to believe it. So. I think those are the World Cups that have really stood up for me. 2010, a lot of people wanted Ghana to, to go further than they did. Ah, but me, I'm sorry, I did not. I've never, I, that's another, I, see, I'm no, I don't do any Pan-African, whatever, I, I did not want Ghana to win. I did not like Suarez, but that handball, for that reason, for that handball that I did against Ghana, I applauded him. And I, I, I was actually in South Africa for the World Cup. And but I was not at the venue of that match. But where I was watching, I was jumping over joy when the guy won. I'm sorry for my African brother who might be watching this, but I did not want Ghana to win. So going going forward, this other was disappointing for Nigeria, but that was not really the main thing for me. I didn't expect much from that team. So because I really didn't go far, I didn't really feel 
feel any anything. I just knew that that team was not good enough and did not disappoint me.